my friends. We know that digestion is the breakdown of complex macromolecules into simple molecules. But have you ever thought why does digestion of food take place? What is the significance of this digestion? Why these complex macromolecules have to be broken down into simpler ones? Do not worry, the answer to this is very simple. It is because these simple molecules will be absorbed into the blood circulation. And why? So that they can provide you with energy. Because that is the ultimate role of food, isn't it? You eat food because you need energy. And this is the reason why these simple molecules of food are absorbed into the blood circulation. So in this video, we shall talk about absorption and see the entire details of it. So let us first understand the concept of absorption in the context of digestion of food. You must have heard of the word absorption in chemistry and in your day-to-day -day life, but here we are dealing with absorption of food. Well, friends, absorption is the process by which the end molecules of food digestion are passed from the intestinal mucosa into blood or lymph. And this is what we mean by absorption of food. Absorption takes place by three processes when we are talking about the food molecules. These three processes are passive absorption, active absorption and facilitated transport. Let us talk about all of these in a little detail. Well, when I say passive transport, I mean that there will be no active energy that is no ATP required for this transport. When I say active transport, I mean to say that there will be active energy that is ATP will be required for this transport and hence this is that process which requires expenditure of energy. The third one that is the word facilitated transport. This means that an extra carrier protein will be required for the molecules to be taken across the barrier. That means that this process that is facilitated transport will require an extra carrier protein for this process to be carried out. So hence we have seen what do we mean by the passive transport, the active transport and the facilitated transport. Before I start with the absorption of molecules, let me remind you once again that the simpler products of carbohydrate digestion are the monosaccharides like glucose and fructose. The simpler products of protein digestion are the amino acids and the simpler products of fat molecules are fatty acid and glycerol. So we shall be talking about the absorption of these simple molecules. Small amount of monosaccharides like glucose, amino acids and some electrolytes like chlorine ions are absorbed by simple diffusion. Well, what is simple diffusion? Friends, we all know that simple diffusion is the process by which substances move from their region of higher concentration to their region of lower concentration. And let me tell you once again that this simple diffusion is a passive transport mechanism that is, does not require ATP. Hence, we see that these molecules have moved across, that is, they have been absorbed into blood circulation by this passive mechanism of diffusion. Some other monosaccharides like fructose are absorbed by means of facilitated transport mechanism, that is, with the help of carrier proteins. Well, friends, the remaining of the monosaccharides and the amino acids are absorbed with the help of ATP. That is, they require energy and this is the active transport mechanism. So we have talked about the absorption of most of the carbohydrate and the protein. And now is the turn to talk about the absorption of the fat molecules. The fat molecule, as we all know, is made up of fatty acid and glycerol. So for the absorption of fat molecule, these two molecules have to be absorbed into the blood circulation. But there is a problem here. And what is the problem? It is that both these molecules, that is fatty acid and glycerol, are insoluble. That is, they are not soluble at all. 
then does that mean that these fatty acids and glycerol are not absorbed? Not at all because fat is a very important component of our diet and hence has to be absorbed. So how is this problem solved? Well friends, this is where the role of bile salts come into play. The bile salts form a coating, they form a globule that is a droplet with these fatty acid and glycerol and this droplet is known as micelles. These micelles are water soluble and hence will move inside the intestinal mucosa. So now what happens inside the intestinal mucosa? Well, inside the intestinal cells we will see that the layer of bile salts is removed and now a protein layer comes and surrounds that is covers the fatty acid and glycerol and this droplet this combination with the protein layer is known as chylomicron now this chylomicron is ready to be absorbed into the lymph vessel so what happens now these chylomicrons are absorbed into the lymph vessel of the villi and this lymph vessel of villi is known as lacteal friends you need not worry as we have talked about these lymph vessel lacteal and villi in the previous sessions and I hope you all remember it you should always revise your stuff and that is the importance of revision so these lymph vessels of the villi which are known as lacteals will absorb the chylomicrons and these chylomicrons will be ultimately drained into the bloodstream and hence we see that the entire fat molecule has been absorbed into the blood circulation. Now let me tell you something really very interesting. These chylomicrons are big fat molecules which are white in color. So when these chylomicrons enter the lymphatic vessel of the villi, this imparts the entire lymphatic vessel a milky white appearance. And this is the reason why these lymphatic vessels of the villi are known as lacteals. So friends, in this video, we have talked about the absorption of carbohydrate, protein and fat molecules. And I'm pretty sure that you are crystal clear of the concept of absorption and any questions darted on you from anywhere. You will solve them without a hassle and without taking much time. So let's conclude this session. But before we conclude, let us summarize the important points. Absorption is the process by which the end products of digested food molecules pass from the intestinal mucosa into the bloodstream or lymph. Absorption takes place by three processes, namely the active transport mechanism, the passive transport mechanism, and the facilitated transport mechanism. Small amount of monosaccharides like glucose, amino acids, and some electrolyte chemicals like chlorine ions are absorbed with the help of simple diffusion which does not require energy. Some amount of monosaccharides like fructose are absorbed with the help of facilitated transport, that is, with the help of carrier proteins. The remaining of the monosaccharides and the other amino acids are absorbed with the help of active transport mechanism, which requires energy. The bile salts form droplet with fatty acid and glycerol molecule known as micelles. These micelles are very much soluble and move inside the intestinal mucosa. Within the intestinal cells, the bile salts are removed and the fatty acid and glycerol molecule gets covered by a protein layer and this combination is known as chylomicron. These chylomicrons are transported into the lymph vessel of the villi known as lacteals from where they are finally drained into the bloodstream. So friends, till now we have understood about the digestion and absorption of food. But what after absorption of food? What is the role of food? Where does these absorbed food molecules go and what do they do? Well, this is all about assimilation where these food molecules which are absorbed are utilized to give energy to the body. So in the next video, we shall talk about assimilation and the other processes. So stay tuned. Until then, have a nice time. Goodbye.